Hey, once again, it's me, Afakami Musolo from Scripture Union, and we are continuing with our Decide series, and this is episode 5. And so today we shall focus on letter D, which is decide and act. Now, to decide and to act upon something is to take an extra step of putting in practice that that has been just an idea. Many times we come up with brilliant ideas, but we bury them just in our minds for reasons like fear, reasons like fear of embarrassment, and maybe resources. But I beseech you friends out there to get to a point where you put in practice that that you have concluded on, and that is what we call deciding to act. Take for example, if this bottle does not look good here, you will keep saying that bottle doesn't look good there. But not until you decide to pick it from here and you put it where it belongs, then you will have decided to act. Let us open our Bibles in the book of Luke. Chapter 15, verses 18 and verse 20. 18 says, I will set out and go to my father and say to him, Father, I have sinned against the heavens and against you. Verse 20 says, So he got up and went to his father. The prodigal son first thought through, all he was going through before he got the thought of going back to his father in verses 18. Now I'm sure this is something we all do most times about our different situations. But for one reason or the other, we fail to decide to act upon it. You may have to borrow a leaf from the prodigal son in verses 20. Which says, so he got up and went to his father. This guy literally stood up and started walking. This is exactly what we mean by deciding to act. We should stop this business of just saying, I will stop fornicating, I will stop masturbating, I will stop doing drugs and all the other kinds of things. Get up. And get out of your comfort zones and decide to act upon the situations in your life. The day I decided to act upon the challenges of drug addiction in my life, I was not pushed by anybody. But rather, I personally took the bold decision to stop drugs. The prodigal son took a personal decision to go back to the father. You too need to take a personal decision to decide to act upon your situations. Remember, before you decide to act, you will always hear voices telling you not to decide. You feel so much attached that you think you cannot survive in the new situation. But I encourage you, just decide and act. I have some people I know who failed to take a personal decision and act upon their situations. And now, their lives are wasted. Remember the prodigal son also had wasted his life. But still, when he decided to act and go back to his father, his father welcomed him, and life was good again. Take a decision to act upon your situations, and you won't regret. We are Scripture Union. We are committed to seeing that there is positive transformation in the lives of children, youths, and their families. God bless you. I love you so much.